Hi, it's me, Burbingish, and welcome to the last episode of the Cure Progression. Uh, you're probably wondering, Burbingish, how did you land yourself in the fragments of self? And, uh, I'll tell ya. So it all started when I was making the second episode of the Cure Progression. I thought, hmm, I should probably go get a thumbnail for the video. So I hopped on Deep Woken and joined a dev server to get like a good Deep Bound screenshot. And I immediately got jumped by two power 60 guys with enchants and bells. Being level 45 with like 30 medium and a katana, I try to run away, but that doesn't go so well for me because of like the low running attack thing and they caught up and gripped me. So being mildly pissed because I got jumped by like 2 max levels and I didn't even get it on recording which sucks. Uh, and that the guy joined my own discord server afterwards and taunted me about it. I made a community post saying, damn I need to pay to keep doing the Akira prog right now with a screenshot of the Deep Woken death screen attached, which if you didn't know have the ID and name of the person that killed you. And I would be lying if I said I posted it without even like a small hope that someone might get him, which you know looking back was pretty petty and uh, I want to apologize for that. Well, anyways, you didn't click on this video for like an apology video so let's begin. Alright so we're out of the depths, it's uh, you know, that was actually my second ever time I used a a hey, last win. The first time I ever used the last win is when I, you know, got my first, uh, first ever bell, actually. It was Yoru, and then I immediately wiped the Enforcer because I joined an England server. So, yeah, that was kind of sad. But, yeah, uh, I'm probably not gonna go down to the depths immediately, you know, after what just happened. So, I'm probably gonna go kill, like, I'm probably gonna go kill Kaido for Ardor. As me, editor Burbing is here, and uh, I realized my past self never explained why I needed y to get like Ardor from Kaido. So I'm here to show you guys in a neat little, uh, neat little demonstration here. So this is me, right? This is uh, this is Akira, my Akira build right here. So when I when I get Ardor, right, I actually had 40 willpower, so I'm gonna get Ardor Scream, and whenever I use that, I'm gonna be like, Gah! right? And then this guy's this guy's gonna be like, oh no no he just he just used the he just used the grab move on me. Wait, whoops, uh, wrong layer. He just, he just used the freaking uh grab move on me, and now he's like all weakened and crap, right? And then I'm gonna pull out my uh, corrupted soul jars, and then and then I'm gonna hit him with the hit him with the five bajillion damage soul jar like uh like this. Wah, wah, and uh and then uh hold on, where, where's the layer? And then when, when that happens, right, when that happens, he, he's going to be like, oh, oh, goodness gracious. And then and then he's going to die. Let me just get rid of this. And, and then he's going to be dead on the floor. So, yeah, that's that's the reason why I wanted uh wanted Ardor Scream so I could like deal big damage to people. And uh, that, that concludes my presentation. <laughs> I spent four years perfecting that presentation just to show it to you guys today. Uh, please subscribe if you appreciate my uh, my four years that went into this. So yeah, I'm gonna gather myself like a little pirate crew and you know go on a little boat adventure. I I don't know why my friends want me like to fish something up for him, but I'll just go get a fishing rod if he wants to. A puffer fish? Why does he need a puffer fish specifically? Uh, okay then. All right, I guess uh. I guess we'll do the little pirate ship adventure later. I'm gonna go fish for a second for some reason. I'm not so sure why he wants a puffer fish, but uh, I'm not gonna ask. Oh, well, that was easy. Hey, guess what I got? Uh, wait, no. Here you go. Here's a puffer fish. I don't know why you. Well, I don't know why you want that, but all right. A reward. And also, what the? <laughs> I, it's funny seeing when someone like goes up and faints, and then they just like instinctively roll. <laughs> Yo, am I getting another armor enchant? I'll take the star boots. I'll take the star boots. This is not scripted, by the way. I swear. Let's go. I have enough to uh do the entire like thingy now. The thing thing. The the enchant rolling, yes, yes, I know how to speak. Five minutes later. Alright, so now we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go find Kaido and we're gonna go beat up, beat, beat him up for, uh, the freaking, what, what is it called? Oh yeah, Ardor, Ardor. Uh, uh, introduce yourself, please. I, I am Dub Wizzy, I, I, I hate Kaido, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, that's enough from you. Uh, what about you? I, I, I'm Darbo, and, um, I, 
This is my first time playing the game after like two months, so I'm gonna be asked. What? What the? What? 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 <laughs> Power. What do you say? Was that pretty good intro material? Be literally phasing out of existence. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> this guy slept me and I died. Took all my limbs. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. After uh, we kill Kaido, I'm probably gonna use Lapless to enchant my uh, little katana here, see if I get anything good. My bell is completely black. That's kind of cool. No way, Alright, well, say anyways, it? we're uh, headed for the Void Sea, so just oh try. Oh my god, wait. What? Oh, oh, sorry. Okay, well, anyways, we're headed for the Void Sea, so literally just drive in one direction. Dude, your bell actually. Look, look at my bell, it's purple. I have an purple bell. Let me let me see your purple bell. Oh, your bell is purple. I got a black bell. Damn, my bell is pretty cool though. Why your bell, my dad? What the freak? This guy is trying to find the uno 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 piece. How do you say in Spanish? He's trying to find the uh, the 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 piso de uno. Piso de uno. Piso yes, de uno. I did not fail my Spanish one class. I swear. <laughs> Wait, you failed your Spanish one class? No. I said I didn't I fail my Spanish 1 class. And can't you listen? Yeah, come on, Mabo. Yo, uh, we're at the void scene. Wait, is that Kaido? No. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. I, I just saw like a bow of Kaido to the left. It is! It literally is! Oh, get him. We got it. We got it. We're gonna go gank their Kaido. Alright, screw this. Screw this entire like plan. We're just gonna go oh, gank yeah. someone else. <laughs> to the left. To the left. Yeah, I returned to the left. More oh, to the left. More to the left. You see the ironclad? Yeah, yeah. So, want to take care of the uh, bat, please? Okay. No. Man, screw this bat. Ooh. My bad. You just the boat. Well, I mean, yeah, hey, that's one way to take care of the song, the blood seeker. Wait, song. The blood sucker, yeah. Bat. Alright, uh. Yeah, you mind if you uh, put us a little closer? It's, uh. I think you uh, underestimated it a little. I got a something. There's another Kaido! Wait, what? Over here! What? There's more bubbles in the you ocean! Well, Wait, I mean, that, could, that could just be a lionfish. Nah, yeah, yeah, I think that's just a lionfish. Uh, yeah, it's just a lionfish. That's, that's too small. Alright, thread the needle, thread the needle. Alright. Let's go square up Kaido. Nah, this guy's already got our door. Where, where's everybody yeah. else? Oh. It's just this one guy. It's Let's get him. Ow! Nah, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me just. I just lost two bars from Kaido's screech. Maybe I'll get him later. <laughs> I'm pretty sure like the whole point of Kaido's fight was supposed to be like an ice ring, but I don't think that's really working out. Get him. My bad. Ow. <laughs> ah. Oh, wait, wait, oh wait, you. Dude, I'm getting comboed. I just got juggled. Bumped them three times. All right, hold on. You guys have fun. I'm gonna uh, hop on the boat for a second. Oh yeah, try not get knocked into the what? I Kaido. Wait, that that quick? Yeah. Yo, that was easy. <laughs> All right, that oh, that, that was the no, easiest Kaido I, fight of my life. I just stole that Kaido from somebody else. Wait, are you guys fighting? Yeah, he's. Yeah. I just said he's trying to kill me. Oh, okay. All right. Let's get him. Yeah, let's go. Actually, I want to fight him. Come on, get him. Oh, it's a water fight now. Wasn't there another guy around here? Hey, to be fair, we didn't start this fight. Uh, we just. You know, we just stole your Kaido and like every, every, like all your bell XP and uh, everything else you were grinding Kaido for. Uh, yeah. I think he's mad that you took his Petra's anchor. Somehow, yeah. I would've given it back if you just asked. Did, did he just. Oh, he just went the yeah, whirlpools. Cool. You guys wanna fight the ferryman while we're here? I'm trying to get Bell Prog. Yeah, sure. Alright, uh, I guess we're just gonna go fight, uh,. What was his name? Oh yeah, Ferryman. Oh, you're gonna, need, you're gonna need to show me where that is, by the way. Yep. You're gonna need it's to literally it. right in front of us, dumbass. <laughs> so why are we getting on the boat? All right. Uh, I hope you guys brought wood or at least a lumber axe. Oh, I brought um, yeah. I brought some. I have graceful flame. So. No, that. Oh uh, yeah, I'm dumb to it. Hold on, I got discovery of fire. We gotta make this cinematic. I'm in a cave. Is this where I'm supposed to be? Uh, oh my god, this guy is not smart. Uh, I didn't. I don't know where to go. No one told me anything, so I figured, hey, there's a cave here, maybe I go in it. There, 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 wait, there's a cave on Ferryman Island? Wait. Marco! Polo! Hi, Dirk. This will work much better if we had proximity chat. I, I'm yes. here. Yeah, he's what? here. Oh, okay, you, cool. 
Uh, okay, who are you? Uh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. I don't care. Oh, Alright, well, anyways, let's go. Oh. Ow. Oh, yeah, I forgot you have Sacred Field. Uh, could you, like, hold C so that uh, it I would did. apply to all of us? I did. Oh, okay, I don't think cool. any of the attacks are physical. Yeah, but, like, you, you defend from both Mantra and physical. Oh, I do? Yeah, why, why do you think I, like, did 1% with that Astral? Where, where do you go? Oh, there he is. Oh. Man. Get him. Get him. I hope you actually hit him that time. Ooh, my bad. <laughs> in what day? In what way do I resemble the fairy event power? Well, I mean, to be fair, you do have purple lighting. Lightning. Oh, okay. I got power increase. I got power increase from just hitting the guy. <laughs> ice lance or lightning stream or iceberg. Okay. What do you guys think? Sure. I. <laughs> that, that was not a sure question. It should be good. Nope. Get over your sword away. My bad, my bad. <laughs> I'm about to put a blast spark on this lightning stream and then just become the most annoying player on earth. You love being with me, family. Honestly, honestly, there should be like a little like stream. Like, you know, when like somebody disappears, they leave like a little trail. Like, whenever he teleports, it should leave a trail so that, that we're just not lost on where he went. Okay, yeah, he's definitely wrapping up his attacks. Constant <laughs> Grand Javelin Barragement. It, it, oh, he's okay. All right, all right. He's, he's going for it. Get over here. Come on. Oh, oh. No. <laughs> Bro, what was that? Can't ban this guy. I just got. I'm, go I'm two bars. I this? just got one shot it. Five minutes later. I'm gonna go enchant my katana with the enchants I have right now. I'm probably- I'm gonna take the little Hive teleporter from here. And while I'm at Hive, I can do just a little bit of leveling up so I can get rid of this stained health bar I have. If I get Providence Forns on my Katana, I- I could probably go do Prima Dawn for my Bell. Hello, Lapless. Uh... Here you go. I don't know why there's like such a massive delay. It's probably just him like, uh, checking out all of the- all of like the little- like IDs and crap, so it'll take like a second. All right, let's see what we get. Oh, heroism. That's actually not bad for a, a PVE build, so I'll take it. Definitely not Providence Forns though. I mean, it is like P Providence Forns, but it's not gonna do the thing. Oh, why do I keep getting one v two by freshers? What the? Um, I guess I guess that last hive guy was just in there. Oh no no. You know you. Oh okay. I was about to say you're not really gonna win with that stiletto, and uh, I guess he took my advice and left. Yeah okay, so I got tired of uh leveling up at hive because hive grinding is boring as hell. So I'm just gonna do some one v ones. Oh crap! Everybody is like geared up. <laughs> that guy has a whole prophet's cloak. Alright, I'm gonna have to try hard against the aggro users. This guy has a whole Prophet's Cloak. I'm pretty sure he's like level 55 at least. Grand Javelin. Ugh. I love outranging daggers because it's like their only weakness. And they get really angry when I do it. Well, I mean the users, the daggers can't exactly get angry. Come back. I guess that guy did have like a whole Prophet's Cloak and everything, but he, he has like the same resistance as me, so. See, this is so much better than Hive Grinding. I just got two points from one, like, 1v1. Warrior's Respawn? I didn't have War- Oh, actually, uh, I'll put Warrior's Respawn. Alright, I guess not. By the way, sorry if this video isn't as polished as my other ones because uh, I'm currently recording on a Friday right now and uh, I have to get this video out by Sunday. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, this guy's getting a little weird, but uh, alright, let's go. This guy has a shattered katana, he has like a maxed out weapon, I'm gonna have to parry every one of his attacks. 
and I can completely do the opposite of what I just set out to do. I do have an armor advantage on him, so I might want to just throw out as much damage as I can there. Bro! Alright, that's a good hit. Alright. This is a dodge battle, bruh. Oh, that was so close. GG's. Alright, probably gonna be my last 1v1. As Just like last time, I don't want to oversaturate it with 1v1s too much. I'm probably gonna go to depths at- Oh, what the hell? <laughs> that running attack completely just jump scared me, bruh. The same running attack that got me killed in the depths. Well, anyway, speaking of depths, uh, I'm gonna be going to the depths after this. Because I don't want to do too much 1v1s. Ow. This guy likes blocking all my attacks. I'm activating Ardor. Why did he suddenly stop blocking my attacks? Come on, man. Just keep blocking my attacks. It'll be fine. Parry trays at the utmost level, bruh. I can't commentate at all because I'm too busy concentrating on parrying. Oh, finally. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, I guess I'll head to Whirlpools and see if I can do some depth grinding. What do, I, what do I even need for a Black Diver? There must be like people fighting or something because look at all these like Hive Golems spawned. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, a Pufferfish. Why is it- why- well. <laughs> why- why- why did they want me to eat a Pufferfish? Chinese medicine? Okay. Oh! I got pranked. Where where are these guys bringing me, bruh? And also, never never eat a jellyfish from a random stranger. Uh, I'm currently dying and crap, so good thing I have food. Alright, well anyways, I'm gonna go to the whirlpools now so I can uh, go to the depths. Let me see what I need for uh, for Black Diver anyways. Wait, did I ever did I ever cash in the blueprint? No, I did not Okay, crap. Uh, I think I left the blueprint when I, like, died to Ferryman instantaneously, so I'm gonna have to go down to the depths for that, too. Let me see what I need. Oh, and, uh, I think I've joined a bad server. I don't think I will be staying in here. Alright, I'm gonna get to the walls quick, because whenever I'm in, like, a, in, like, a server with this little people, like, a bunch of mobs spawn, because there's, like, nobody else to spawn it on. Die. Yo, man, we're trying to... Bro, respect the ones, you stupid... How much HP do you have? Oh, there we go. Ooh, that's a pretty good helmet. Let me check the other chest as well. Oh, Black Diver. Yep, needed that. Alright, well, anyways, I'm gonna grind in the depths for a while and see how that goes. Uh, I did say I was gonna go fight Squibbo. Because Squibble gave like a lot of XP, and yeah, I'm gonna go fulfill that promise real quick. Well, I mean not XP, like Bell XP, because I have boss progression. I don't know how long it takes for Squibble to spawn, but hopefully he's here by now. Oh, nope, that's not, that's not a Squibble, that's just two freshers. Oh, here's the fresher. I was like, where did the fresher go? Ow. Okay, this really hurts, you know. Okay, actually. Chill out. Oh. Please, relax. Relax. What? There's a lionfish too? Okay, okay, hold on. I gotta get out of here. I really can't afford to wipe here because I don't have a last win left. I just spent it on the, you know, the other situation, so I'm just gonna worry respite up a little. There we go. That's one down. Please stop stunning me every five seconds. Ooh, an orb. 
What? Another one? Oh my god, can you guys like... Screw off. Oh wait, this, this one's actually deadly. It's corrupted. I don't know how this like line fish is missing me, but I'm not gonna complain about it. Oh, that took a lot of damage. Oh, yep, I'm I'm wiped, I'm wiped, I'm wiped, I'm so wiped, bruh. You know, I think I might want to reconsider this whole depths thing. <laughs> Maybe I'm not cut out for to be like a diver. Oh, okay. That's nice. Frozen legs, that's nice. I'll take it. Oh wait, I just realized why wow, I was taking so much damage. I have no armor. I'm just gonna escape deaths for now because my armor is broken, which means I'm basically dead anytime I like try and do anything. I think I have another idea on how I'm gonna get my blush gem. Sure, I'll do that. I need calabash. All right, we got the blush gem. Uh, sorry if I sound a little sick. It's because I I'm a little bit sick. Uh, I guess it's time to just make our black diver. Uh, let's see, blush gem. Oh wait, I forgot the cloth and fiber. One second. It's always a pain getting fiber for when you forget it at Etris because it's all the way by the general store. Here it is. Oh wait, hold on. Let me just uh, get a bit of a discount. There we go. All right, now let's see if I have everything I need. Uh, blush gem, yes. Claw fiber, megalodontide, odd tentacle, fresher spine, vibrant gems. Yeah, I got that. And the one thousand notes. All right, check it out. I got my black diver. Hold on. Let me just uh, just like hide my uh, scarf real quick. Alright, so what do you guys think? With Scarf or without Scarf and like all the other like star boots? But uh, now we're actually, you know, looking pretty lore accurate except for like the glowing yellow sword. Only thing left for us to do now is to get the bell. Uh, that's gonna take a while. I think a good place to start would be to check my bell prog again because I did do some 1v1s and uh, some, uh, some rather unsuccessful bosses. Also, I'll just take this quest real quick. Just in case I need to do Duke. Now that I have a Black Diver, I don't really have to worry about like armor breaking, so I might go down to the depths. But you know, I <laughs> not not big not a big fan of the depths. Oh yeah, wait wait I forgot. Uh, I need to make Jolt Grab actually like useful real quick. And there we go. Uh, Magnet Spark. All right, let's see how this works. I never actually used like a Magnus Spark Jolt Grab before. Yeah, that's nice. It's like an instant teleport. I'm hoping I can get like a uh, Ice Lance, like Chris. Yeah, Ice Lance. Whenever, uh, whenever I get my next mantra, because that's probably one of like the only other ice moves that I'm gonna be mainly using, except for like Crystal Impale. And you know, look at this hop bar. It's pretty like pretty Thunder Call dominated. So I want to swap out uh, Lightning Assault with uh, with. Ice Lance, yeah. I'm pretty sure I still have a Wayward on my Jolt Grab, which is kind of redundant. So I should probably put that on uh, on my Grand Javelin. Oh, yep. I still have actually no Bell Prog whatsoever, and I still have I'm still on Boss Progression. All right. Uh, I might do a couple Dukes, and then I'm gonna try and do Prima Don. And if I fail at Prima Don, maybe maybe it'll just send me to the depths, and I can Bell Check myself. Man, I remember when I said I was not gonna do Duke this uh, progression, but like the entire the entire game's telling me, okay, go do Duke. All right, uh, I'm gonna go see how much rep I have of Etrus actually. Let's see. Hello. All right, friend of Etria. That's good. I can. Uh, I don't even have to do that stupid like wood thing. Oh yeah, and I took the quest already. Yes, yes. I I, I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, I wonder where Kenneth went. Oh, so that's where Kenneth went. Wait, crap, why did I- Oh my god, why did I take this? My brain blanked out, and I just went to the hive thing, because that- Okay, whatever. Uh, 14 minutes left. I'm gonna have to drive back. This sucks. I wonder if I will get lucky enough to get that corrupted soul jar. Probably not, though. 
Actually, it would be smart for me to hold off until, uh, until I got my bell down in the depths, and then I level up all the way to 60, so that I can, uh, see if I can get a second bell roll. And that's another chance for corrupted soul jars, which I'm looking for. I mean, honestly, I'll be happy with regular soul jars. But the real, the real challenge would be picking between, like, any other corrupted bell and regular soul jars, because, you know, it's either I go for, like, the cool corrupted shenanigans, or I just go for, like, the trusty alternative. Alright, manor key. Now I can go to Aresia. Oh yeah, I don't have any ways to kill like the servants, so I'm gonna have to like, I'm gonna have to grip them individually or have do grip them. I think uh, all, like another move that would be pretty nice would be ice eruption, but I think I'm gonna need to get some blue gems if I want to make this build like viable. Why are they both here? Why are they both here? Oh, it's a stupid rock thing, isn't it? Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead, bruh. What is this? Alright, hold on. Come on. Oh, okay. 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 Chill out. Dude. This stupid rocks thing is so annoying because it always aggroes the other one as well. Bruh. Well, that was great. Uh, looks like I'm going back then. Hey, uh, Archmage, could you please remove that stupid, like, rock screen move? Like, <laughs> it's, one, unavoidable, because you can barely tell when the debris are about to fall on you. Two, aggroes every other mob inside the room. And three, completely makes me sad. I wonder if there's gonna be, like, more murmurs in layer two. Because right now, we just have Ardor and Tacit, and one is significantly easier to get than the other. Oh yeah, and also, if you, if you guys know like the Talent Fast Blade, the one that says that uh, your speed boost is extended by like parrying, is that's actually not true, It's uh, it actually just gives you a speed boost outright. So you just become really fast when you like parry a lot of stuff at once. That's taking extra long to kill. My sword does no damage. Dude, you are sending your entire damn wave of them. And I can't even grip these guys as well because they don't have the talent, so I'm gonna need Duke to grip them for me. Thank you. That was kind of satisfying, honestly. Oh, and that's our first Duke done. Ooh, 5 HP windmill ring? I need that on my main build. Come on, you have to be close to- okay, there we go. Second duke done. Ooh. An armor enchant. Bench leg legate helm. Yeah, that's how you pronounce it. Here. Ooh, mantras. Why do, why do I still have electro carve? Uh, burn that. Lightning impact. Uh, that's cool and all, but like... I don't really like lightning impact all that much, to be honest. Random ice combat mantra. Uh, let me search up the ice combat mantras that I can get. Oh, wait, actually, I have some like decent options here, but like also some equally horrible options as well. I could either get ice daggers, ice blade, ice chain, or ice forge, or ice eruption. And ice. Wait, what? Why does ice have so many one star moves? Dude, ice has so many one star moves, I don't know if I should try it though. Should I roll two or mystery mantra? You know what? I'll screw it. Uh, I'll replace. Oh, I'm getting a call from my dad. Hold on. I'll replace frost grab though. Ice smash. Damn. I wanted ice daggers to be honest, but uh, hold on. All right. Well, I'm back. I, uh, I had to answer a call from my dad for a second, but. Uh, I, d I think Ice Smash isn't really all that bad because, like, it does heavy damage, apparently, according to the wiki, so, you know, and uh, heavy damage sounds pretty good. Oh, what the- what? Bah. 
I rejoined and I got sent back to Etrus. Okay, I mean, I guess I'll just sell my stuff for now. Oh yeah, while I'm at Etrus, actually, I can sell some stuff and uh, make it so that I can upgrade my Ice Smash. I don't know how much damage Ice Smash does, I just hope it's good because I wasted like a roll 2 on this. Alright, uh, Ice Smash. Oops, that's Ice Beam, but uh, I guess I might as well level it up. Alright, Ice Smash level 4 and Ice Beam level 4, alright. Five minutes later. That's the third duke down. Okay. Uh, I hope I can do something else because this is boring as hell. Alright, and that's the third duke done. I wasn't even recording for the- I mean, that's the fourth duke done. I wasn't even recording for the rest of it because, honestly, that is just getting boring at this point. Alright, and that's my fifth duke down. I'm gonna try and do something else and see- I'm gonna actually go check how much uh, my bell prog is. Oh, what the? Seer Wailing Knife. That's actually kind of good. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go check how much bell prog I have, and if I have enough, I'll probably do some 1v1s, go down to the depths, and uh, if I do wipe during the depths, well, I mean, hopefully my bell will save me. Alright, please tell me I have a lot of bell prog. Oh, finally. Let's see. An Inquisitive Soul. Yep, uh, I have depth progression now, but before I do that, I might as well do a couple of Chimes of Conflicts. Since this is the second time I'm doing Chimes of Conflict in this episode, I'm just gonna keep it like short and sweet. So it might be like a little more, uh, not as complete as usual, I guess, if that's how you per like describe it. This guy's a chilling fish user, which means he's gonna be annoying to fight. I think he's max level. Wow, this guy just does not want to fight. He's just like walking backwards, bruh. Your fist, you're supposed to be up close and personal. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I I hate fighting fists so much. Because they have like I I look at swing trails to like try and parry, and it's much harder when your like opponent's just one mass. This guy can't seem to parry a uh, grand javelin for whatever reason. Another reason why fist is like so hard to parry is because of its short range. You think like Oh, no, 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 no. It's a fist, right? What what the... Wow, this guy doesn't, did not want to get gripped. But anyways, fist, right? Like, they have short range, so they could easily just miss their M1 intentionally, or unintentionally if you want to, and it'll make you, like, proc weak parry, because you, you know, so-called missed a parry, and then you just, and then when they move in closer, you just get hit, because you're still in that state, and it's kind of stupid. Alright, second 1v1. Let me just read my weapon manual for a second. Looks like we're fighting an el elastic, elastic cleaver. What? I don't know what's over my opponents and just not parrying, but uh, I guess I can't parry either. So, dude, they just they just keep holding the back button. They just keep holding S. I should get aggressive posture on this build. Oh, Illinois server, that's not good. I'm about, I'm about to lose this last 1v1, bruh. It's a dagger. Dagger user and I'm on Illinois, this is gonna be absolutely horrendous. I hate how, like, light weapons' lack of range actually, like, helps them sometimes. Because, yeah, I already explained. Like, come on, that's supposed to be a downside. And also, why can critical- why can like daggers crit anyways? It's kind of stupid. Ooh. I thought I had lightning assault low key. Ooh. Ardor let me just block strong left right there. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, Ice Smash is proving to be kind of mid. Alright. GG's. Alright. Back to the Whirlpools. Alright, we're in the depths. Now, time to begin the sprint to the wall. Ooh. Another enchant. 
I could reroll my uh my weapon enchant if I want to, but I'm not sure. Heroism is a pretty good enchant already. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm safe in here in the cathedral. If I'm not, then uh I've made a grave mistake. Yep, bell. Nope, none of that is what I wanted. Uh, I guess I'll take Yoru for now. All right, come on, Jar of Souls, please. I I thought I would never say that. I thought I would never say like, please, Jar of Souls, but I kind of want Jar of Souls. Oh, Jar of Souls, let's go. What? Ah, crap. I literally, I said this earlier, it's like, it's gonna be tough to choose between Jar of Souls or like a, a Corrupted Resonance. Hmm, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna take your route. What downside did I get? Oh, okay, yeah, that kinda sucks. I should've taken Jar of Souls to be honest. Alright, so we're out of the depths. I want to check out how long my bell actually lasts. So I'm going to put like a little timer over here and we can uh, check if this corrupted bell is actually worth it. Alright, so it went all the way over here. And I could also still uh, double your roo, so it, it will be two times the amount. But uh, yeah, that's probably going to be the end of the cure progression. If you guys enjoyed, please subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next video.